Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be a doing eh Jesus, I can't talk. Today I'll be doing a get ready with me video slash get to know me tag slash chit chat video. I just thought I should switch it up a bit on this channel. And I've received all your audio complaints and I promise I'm working on it. I've ordered a new microphone, so I'm just waiting for it to come. I figured what I'm using right now is not adequate enough if you cannot hear me well. So please bear with me as we wait for the microphone to arrive. As for now, I've touched, touched settings in my camera and I hope to Jesus that you can hear me well. My middle name is Uabosha and I've actually gotten asked this question a lot. Like someone asked me if it's my real name. Yes, Uabosha is my real name and it's my middle name. My favorite color is purple and it's actually the color of my room. I doubt you can see it well enough, but yeah, I like purple, but not the light purple. I like the really dark purple. My first best friend was and still is Sarah Mwimali. Uh, she was one of those friends who your mama knew, your daddy knew, your brother knew. So yeah, and this was actually in class six. So <laughs> I think I found my best friend pretty late. Okay. So today I'm going to be a bit lazy and I'm going to use this eyeshadow, which was actually one of the first eyeshadows I ever got. And I got it from Uchumi before Uchumi was dying. And it was 200 shillings. The tag has rubbed off, but it was 200 shillings. And I'm just going to sweep one color across my lid because I can't do a shadow while talking. It'll just be a mess. So I'm going to use this color right here that matches my nails and it looks so pretty. I'm actually very small. I'm 4'11 and it's that 4'11 that is struggling. Not even that 4'11 that is <laughs> close to 5 feet. Um, I'm very much a dog person. I had a dog. His name was Ozzy, but he, he's no more. Yeah, I love dogs. I feel like I need to pause to tell this story first. So you see, I went to two high schools. So in the first high school that I went to, uh, you had to pay to watch a movie during entertainment. So you'd pay, it was only 20 bob. Then after you pay the 20 shillings, you'd get stamped on your hand or wherever you want to be stamped to show that you've paid so me and my best friend Husna yes Husna from the hair story Husna we decided that uh, we don't want to pay this time so we're going to sneak in so what we did is during uh, the music session before the movie the music session was free like everyone would go and we'll dance and have fun so before the music session started we'd leave our chairs inside and then when the movie started and the lights were switched off because you know those are projectors so the lights had to be switched off during the movie so when the lights were off we decided we'll sneak in through the window <laughs> and watch the movie for free so the plan went on great we left our seats and it came time for the movie so everyone was being removed uh, from the hall so that you can make the line and pay so people played and we just chilled out there like you know we were just chilling and act, trying to act normal then this is what happened so the lights go off yeah and uh, we had left the window open the plan was going great and everything so as we are going <laughs> to enter the window we hear uh, the hall door opening and someone going like wait that was such a weird way <laughs> okay so we had the door opening and someone shouts wait say so we we're like oh my god we're busted so I literally turn my head so that I can run and I just see from like the corner. Okay, let me explain. From where we are, there was like a wall. It wasn't a, a like big wall, but it was, it was like you couldn't easily just jump over it. So as I turn, I'm turning my head slowly and then who do I see? Husna jumping over the wall and she has gone like she literally ran so fast so at this time i'm on the floor i'm dead i'm like literally dying like it was so funny so i'm on the floor i'm dying i'm dead with laughter 
and uh, after like a few minutes i see her coming back like what's wrong did you get caught or something and i'm like bro you jumped a whole wall like you actually jumped a wall i'll never forget that day it was so hilarious she'll probably kill me for telling this story but it was pretty funny because this girl like just took off and then she heard the sound and jumped the wall I have visited two countries and that is Tanzania and Dubai. I really do hope to travel more in the future though. Like I want to move on in Joba's life. That is goals right there. This girl travels all over the world to do makeup. Like that is the life. Yes, I am. I'm in my third year of uh, school and I'm doing mechanical engineering. My best subject was and still is math. I however didn't realize that at some point all the numbers would go away and you'd be left with mostly letters. And uh, my worst subject was English. I'm just not very creative with the composition thing. Like I think I watch so many movies that uh, all my compositions used to be about movies because I'm just not creative in creating stories. Like. I'm creative in all other things, but don't tell me to make up a story. I can't make up a story. So I just used to write compositions about movies. And yeah. Also, if you know me, you know I can't spell to save my life. So yeah, English was never really my favorite subject. My favorite drink is uh, milkshake. Vanilla milkshake. Specifically milkshake from a creamy inn. I've actually never thought about a favorite animal, you know, besides dogs. But I think if I had to pick one, I'd pick a lion maybe, or a tiger, or dolphins. Yeah, dolphins are pretty cute and I think they are smart as well. So this is my favorite perfume and it's called Shakira by Shakira. And it has a little S here that I'm sure stands for Shakira. But yeah, this, it smells really... I don't know how to describe it, but it smells nice. And to be honest, I don't really like tea. I don't even take tea in the morning. And uh, coffee, I can't really take coffee a lot because I have acidity issues. But if I have to choose between tea and coffee i'll definitely go with coffee but just with a lot of milk and sugar especially sugar so yeah i think we'll go with coffee for this one <laughs> i've actually joked with my friends about this question and i used to tell them uh, that i'll name my child vodka and it's not because i like vodka or anything it's because uh there's this youtuber now she's called hey paris but her name before she changed it had something to do with vodka and i really loved her so i was like oh my god i'm going to name my daughter vodka and uh yeah my friends used to be like oh my god your daughter will hate you so much and yes i do agree but i was just joking i'm not actually going to name my child vodka but uh it, it, it was a funny name i played uh handball i played handball in high school and you will never guess what position i used to play i actually used to play defense and i think i was i was pretty okay in my defending yeah i loved it was a sport that me and my seven other best friends used to play in high school so the whole team like i had all my friends in the team so it was it was fun I know someone is probably going to come for me in the comment section, but if I'm being totally honest, I don't like to read. I know it's not a good habit, but I'm that person who I'd rather watch the movie than read the book. That's just how I am. In the spirit of uh, supporting my fellow brothers and sisters, I think I will give Kenyan YouTubers. So I love people like uh, Anita Nkatha, 
Waljiri Njiru, Bahati Mangoji, Levis Ryan. Oh my God, if you do not know, Levis Ryan, uh, I'm even pronouncing his name right, is it Levis or Levi? Please tell me what it is. But yeah, if you're not watching his channel, I do not know what you're doing with your life. His channel is so bomb. And he actually had a giveaway a few weeks ago for reaching uh, a thousand subscribers. And he gave out a phone, a whole entire phone. Like that is hashtag goals. And uh, I also love uh, Elinipa. She's not Kenyan, she's Tanzanian. But her channel is still nice. And I like uh, Michelle Bisonga and uh, who else? Yeah, I think those are my favorite channels. I'll link all of them down below. There's this one movie that I really like. It's called uh, Osmosis Jones, but it's a really, really old movie. It's like 2001 movie there. And uh, I always watch this movie when I'm sick because it's about uh, this cold pill that has to uh, prevent this guy from dying in 48 hours because he's about to be killed by a virus or something like that but sure i really like the movie and i always i just don't like medicine so when i watch that movie i'm like oh my god i need my cold pill to go and save me from dying or something like that yeah it's 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 a nice movie for those with children your children will enjoy the movie <laughs> i'm still a child at heart i am very much single but you best believe that during that weekend for Valentine's Day, I will be here with a tutorial acting like I have somewhere special to go. So I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to contour with this. And this is a BB cream from Sleek. And for those who don't know, BB cream stands for blemish balm. And uh, a blemish balm is like a foundation but with very little coverage. So the best way I can explain this is imagine mixing your foundation with some lotion and that's what a BB cream is. Um, I am Kamba and Taita and with Taita I can understand nothing. So don't ask me to say anything in Taita, I can't. Uh, but with Kamba I try, like I can understand a few things here and there and uh, I try to respond in Kamba when I can. This is actually really hard to blend in. Maybe it's because of all the talking I've been doing, so I let it sit for too long, but it's not that easy to blend it in. Yes, I do. I actually have a younger brother. I'll try and get him to be in one of my videos one day. I will describe my fashion sense as minimalist. Um, yeah, I just don't like things that are too much or everywhere or shout too much. I'm that person who will be happy with my white t-shirt and blue jeans and I'm good to go. I know some of you are waiting to hear something fancy for this question, but no, I like my fried chicken. So if you buy me KFC, I'm a happy girl, so yeah, I have to go with KFC as my favorite restaurant. Oh my god, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf. I love Teen Wolf. It is my all-time favorite TV show, and I love it so much that I'm getting a Teen Wolf phone case. And what else? I also like uh, Survivor. I'm a die-hard Survivor fan. I'm probably the only one who still follows Survivor, but I love it so much so that as a kid, I really wanted to uh, apply for Survivor when I grew older. So when I was in first year, I actually went to their site to check how you can apply. And I found that it's only applicable to US citizens. So yeah, if someone from Survivor is watching this, hi, I'd love to be in your show. And I also like uh, How to Get Away with Murder. And currently I'm loving The Mick. It is awesome. And uh, Quantico, yeah, Quantico is nice too. It's actually coming back. Well, by the time you're watching this, it will be back. Um, I have an Android and I'd show it to you, but it's what I'm using to film currently. 
So yeah, if you want to start a YouTube channel, don't wait for a camera. If you have a nice phone with a nice camera, use your phone to film. It will work just as well. And yes, moment of silence for this highlight. Like, tell me the aliens in Mars cannot see this highlight. Tell me those aliens cannot see that highlight. I like it so much. And for 950 shillings, this is bomb. A bad habit that I had growing up and that I still do have up to this date is biting the inner side of my cheek. So sometimes when I get distracted or I'm concentrating too much, you'll find me looking like this. And it's actually a really bad habit. So when I was growing up, uh, my mom used to tell me that when I get older, I will look like this. Okay, I can't really show it well, but <laughs> what she meant is I'll chew the entire inside of my cheeks. I didn't want to grow up and look like that. So when I was, I was growing up, uh, I kind of bitch the inside of my cheek less and less. Yeah, that's actually the end of the questions. And uh, I have this purple lipstick. I really, really like the color. So I think this is what we're going to put on today. Actually, I don't like this lipstick with this combination look, so I think I'm going to change this. So I'm going to switch it to uh, this lipstick from Maybelline, and Maybelline are actually really affordable, so an affordable quality lipstick, and it is in number 160. So this is the end result of our makeup look today, and to be honest, uh, if you bump into me, on the streets of Nairobi and I'm wearing makeup, this will probably the, be the look that I have on. Because I like very simple looks. If you're like me and you want more tutorials on the more simpler looks, just comment down below and uh, I'll make more of this. That is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. And uh, which reminds me, the fan bam is growing. We have very many new subscribers. So if you're new to this channel, Feel welcome, we love visitors. Don't forget to hit the bell button on your way out so that you can get notifications every time I post a video. Until next time, bye.